Hey, what's up? So, thought I would uh, do a quick test on my new oscilloscope uh, with this pulse width modulation generator. So, I made another video about this. I think it's pretty cool, but uh, I thought I'd demonstrate, you know, in real time what this thing actually looks like on an oscilloscope. You know, with duty cycle, the frequency. But uh, if you saw my other video of me building this thing, I, you noticed that I, I put a dual input. So, I'm going to hook this up to a, a 12 volt uh, AC adapter. And get it going. I'm gonna hook this up to a multimeter at the same time, so we can see that. You can see you got power, 50% duty cycle, 200 hertz. All right. All right. So I have my multimeter leads here. This is my oscilloscope probe going back there. So right now we're not getting any voltage. So I got to turn this on. Get some output voltages. That's what I would expect. So I have a 12 put in volt or 12 volt input, 50% duty cycle, so that's 50% of 12 volts, 6 volts on the multimeter. So I'm going to fire up the oscilloscope and we'll see this on the oscilloscope. Alright, so I hope you can see that. You know, I noticed that sometimes these things are hard, they don't pick up the oscilloscopes, but so with the 50% uh, duty cycle, I should be half on, half off. So that's 0 volt and the top is, is the uh, 12 volt. So 50% on, 50% off, the top and the bottom should be equal. So the space between here and the space between the top should be equal at 50%. So when I change this... Oh, wrong one. So when I change the uh, duty cycle, so let's say I put it on to 25%, you notice that the actual off time is a lot greater than the on time and my voltage is reduced to 3 volts. So it's actually an average of time that basically determines the actual voltage here. So if I say if I increase this to 75, you'll notice that the top is bigger and the bottom is smaller. So see the top here? That's larger and that. So it's on more than it's off. So at a 100% duty cycle, we're pretty much, this thing's on 24-7. See the straight line? So I'm going to go down to 75, and you can see as it gets bigger. 75% duty cycle, 50% duty cycle, so half on, half off, 25% duty cycle, and then 0% duty cycle. That should, that should be 0 on, so that should be obviously at 0 volts. So it's the same thing, just goes up. That's cool. So that's how you see it in real time. You need an oscilloscope to see it in real time. So this will definitely help troubleshooting sensors a lot easier in the future. Um, you don't need to have an oscilloscope to troubleshoot a sensor, but it definitely makes it nice to see what's actually happening in circuit. So yeah, I actually bought this oscilloscope on eBay for hundred bucks, but a uh, pretty good one. It was 200 megahertz bandwidth and one giga sampling. So um, cool. Take a look. Yeah, this thing was on, uh, it was like $15 or $20 on eBay. I made another video about this thing, but this will allow me to test sensors. You know, I can actually open and close a sensor by duty cycle. So I can verify the actual, say like an IAC sensor, automotive IAC sensor. I can see if it's actually behaving the way it's supposed to be at different duty cycles. So any, or any sort of sensor, it could even be like a fuel pump or something. You know, those new fuel, the pulse width modulated fuel pumps. Six volts. Cool. Awesome.